Hey guys, how's it going? I'm working on a few planting projects today. It's finally a really nice day. We've been kind of having to dodge rainstorms for the last few weeks. We actually have a couple of rainy days coming up, so tomorrow and the next day. So I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff in the ground because I think the plants will love it and I will love planting when it's not raining. So right now I'm going to be taking some pansiolas up to uh, where Aaron and I go to church because I'm going to plant up the front front pot. So I had some extra ones. Let me show them to you. So here they are right here. I've got a few extra of the, um, these are sunlight pansiolas that I planted in the pots by our barn. And then I've got a few of the plum good and then some anytime dove, which I love. So I'm just going to like mix all of these colors up and put them in the pots. So I just got to load them up and head up there. Look at this, I even put a tarp in here to protect the seats. All loaded up and ready to roll. But I wanna show you guys all the tumbleweeds. So see that pile right there? That's like just a little taste of what we've been dealing with after all the spring wind. So this area right here, this is out by our greenhouse. So this whole area here is going to be developed. See, they've got one house in right there. And we knew they were gonna do this when we bought the house and I'm actually kind of excited because it'll stop all of this from happening. Can you guys see all of those tumbleweeds? Like they are just thick all the way up to our fence. They blew in because this whole property is full of them. And then there's another one like, cause the property wraps around our fence. So we've just had tumbleweeds everywhere. So Aaron and I spent a good few hours removing tumbleweeds last night. We gathered them all up and these things are enormous. They're huge, they're prickly and we burned a bunch of them but we only made it about halfway through. So that's another project we have to do today is to finish cleaning up. And the bummer about it is I had just made it through all of our flower beds and had done all of the major winter cleanup. So I just raked everything with a fine tooth comb and got all the weeds out. And now all my flower beds are full of like junk, <laughs> leaves from um, like some of our oak trees that hold onto the leaves forever. Uh, so there's oak leaves everywhere and a bunch of junk that I'm gonna have to go through and clean up again So that is life. So now I'm gonna go grab my stuff and head to the church All right, let me show you the containers. I'm putting these panziolas in they're really neat and they're huge Look at these So they put Christmas lights on these this last winter. They looked really pretty Looks like I'm gonna have to add quite a bit of potting soil. I brought one full bag for each I don't think it's gonna be enough. I might have to go get more but these are the perfect size pots, I think, for this set of double doors up here. All right, so I'm just gonna go unload the car and see what else I need to get these things done. And then I'm gonna go home. I've got some Dianthus, Jacob's Ladder, Columbine, Delphiniums. I think that's it. I think I'm gonna put those in the ground at home and maybe a few more panseolas. So I'm excited to show you all of those plants. All right, so let me show you how they're all laid out. So I had just enough soil to fill up the rest of the pot so it was at the right soil level to plant. And then I've got a mix of all the different colors in here. I think it's gonna look really pretty. So let me back up. Very simple, but very clean and pretty. Oh, you can see my reflection, hello. So I'm just gonna plant and we'll see how they look in the end. trying to track down a water bucket of some kind. I forgot mine at home. All done and I think they turned out really pretty. So these ones will grow up a little bit and kind of fill in this whole bottom section. And then I think the thought is to plant some annual vines to grow up these a little bit later. Let's go look at this one. Lots of pretty springy looking colors. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just had to retrace my steps because I left one of my batteries on top of the car. I found it. Fell off in the parking lot. Oh, phew, I would have had to order a new one today. Okay guys, I'm back at home, got the pots at the church done. So I'm right by the back of our house. See, that's our kitchen door right there. That's the door we use the most. So I'm planting in the bed that face, the window from the kitchen faces. So let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm gonna do. I really love this area, you guys. It's such a just like cool um, area. And I love all the textures in here already. So I get shade most of the day from like here 
back so this whole area gets shade and there's actually a bunch of hostas coming up right in here so i have to be careful about not over planting but then it kind of turns into this same semi shady area in here and then more sunny right here so it's kind of fun because i get to play with a lot of different light requirements so today i'm putting in these five jacobs ladder aren't those the most gorgeous things ever let me get closer to them look at that light blue oh the bee's already on it that's what I love to see. Okay, so Polymonium Northern Lights. So these ones get 12 to 18 inches tall and 12 inch spacing. So I've just clustered them around the base of this pot. I really like this pot, you guys. It's so pretty. And there's a rock in there too. I don't really know what that's doing in there. I didn't put it there, but there it is. So I just kind of clustered them there and then I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to plant something right in here because see this little arch that these shrubs create? There's a viburnum here and a lilac here. I really like kind of that view, that vista through here and you can see there's hellebores. I don't know how well you can see that. There's hellebores right in there and I kind of want to increase my collection of hellebores. But I thought, well, maybe I should plant a hydrangea in there or maybe a little evergreen, but it might block that. So what's your guys' opinions? Let me know in the comment section. The next plant I'm putting in is this Dianthus right back here. Let me get close on it. Look at how pretty these blooms are. I'm a total sucker for anything that's double, and I love white blooms. So this one's called Dianthus Scent First Memories, and it only grows about 11 inches tall and wide. So I actually don't expect it to get much bigger than it is right now coming out of the can. This is like a two, two gallon can here, but these blooms smell just like Christmas. They smell like a chai latte, kind of. <laughs> they smell so good. And I'm not sure what kind of vine this is that's growing up the tree, but I thought that this plant, just because we only had one down at the garden center, that I could just tuck it in right here and it could be a nice little accent. And then I've got some delphiniums I'm putting in here. So this is a part where you guys need to use some vision because <laughs> I'm having to really use vision because look at how crappy all of these privets look. They didn't look great last year, if you remember our garden tours, and I am planning on replacing, replacing them. It was not gonna be in the plans for this year because we're doing some other stuff, but I don't know. I think I might cave because they look so bad. So you can see how spotty they're coming back. I mean, they didn't really have a fair shake this winter, but that's what they're looking like. So it looks really, really scrubby around the outer part. But this right here is an old fashioned rose. I don't remember the, no, I don't, not that I don't remember. I don't know the variety. It's a really soft pink. So right in front, I think all of these delphiniums are gonna look gorgeous. These are Black Knight, really deep purple. They get five to six feet tall and two feet wide. Zone three, they're really tough. But these ones bloom for a really long time and then they repeat bloom. So I think I'll really enjoy them in this spot because the rose will get quite tall. It got about like this tall last year and then the delphiniums will fill in in front. And then I do have plans for this section right here. We're just not ready for it quite yet, but I suppose we'll be doing a video here really soon. Okay, and so the last thing I'm gonna plant is just right down the sidewalk here. I have a boxwood in a pot that didn't do super well. So, see, I'm not really sure that it's actually alive at all. All of these leaves, even on the interior, are all crinkly. I don't know if it's focusing there, but I don't know. It's just not looking good. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to put these in. Isn't that gorgeous? These are a columbine. Let me show you the tech. They're called a winky dark blue and white double columbine. So see there again, we've got a double bloom, which I love purple and white, which I love. So, and I know that these are not gonna be plants that I keep in this pot for a long time. It does say that they're long blooming and if I do cut the stalks down, they will rebloom later in the season, which is awesome. But I do think that they'll look really pretty clustered in this container together. And the reason why I'm putting them in the container is because I have no idea where I wanna plant them yet. <laughs> so I have several things like that out in our greenhouse. I have six hellebores that I brought home the other day that are gorgeous, look up, pink frost. I might run out there and show you guys, but if I don't, Google pink frost hellebores. They are so pretty. I think I know where they're gonna go, but I'm not sure. So a lot of my stuff ends up in containers. And actually there's a couple other things that I might get to today. Remember the white hyacinths in the copper trays that I had inside in the kitchen? 
These are them. I've been carrying them over in these little trays. I just keep a little bit of water in there. They're okay right now, so I just need to get those planted somewhere. And then I have five more flats of panziolas that I'm gonna mass plant somewhere out in the garden. So if I can get all of this stuff done, hopefully I can make it to the panziolas. So I'm just gonna start planting. warm you guys the Sun decided to come out a little bit so now I'm gonna water these plants in that I've just got done in this bed real quick before I move on to anything else all right I'm pretty sure I have dirt all over my face at this point next thing though I'm gonna do is take this boxwood out and go dump it in the trash and get these columbines planted So we'll probably do more of a formal review of our Versailles garden in a garden tour, but I just wanna show you the progress of how it's doing. You might remember when I planted this area up. Look at how well it's doing. So we removed all the grass that was all the way around this urn, and I planted five, no, let's see, five, three, four, seven, denim and lace, fresh and sage, and they're just coming back. You can see the little green growth down in there. It's exciting. And then I've got 90 Cafe Noir tulips all the way around the urn. One of them is about ready to open. It's gonna be so pretty, you guys. And then all the little sprinters, which are gonna be an eventual hedge, just a really little hedge right here. Every single one of them survived the winter, which I'm so thankful for. I was so nervous with the the snow load with these little fragile plants I was worried that they would just collapse and they just did wonderful I do notice I have some weeds though I usually do like in any area that I take grass off out I usually battle grass for at least a season afterward and I usually just hand pull no spraying if we can get away with it That would have worked really well had I had it like that. All right, so this pot turned out really pretty. I need to do a little cleaning over there. I made a mess. But again, this one is a winky dark blue white double columbine. Beautiful blooms. I love it. And then I had a couple of Anytime Dove panziolas that I thought would look really sweet just worked in around the container. I just wanted it to be a nice green pot. It didn't need to necessarily be full of different colors and textures, just something nice to look at. All right, hyacinths next. I think I'm gonna tuck them into this flower bed as well. So you can tell the very sharp, distinct line where this flower bed gets shade versus sun. Kinda interesting. Put this in a nice sunny area here. All right, we got the hyacinths in, so now I'm gonna go grab the panziolas and show you where I'm gonna put those. So it all turned out really, really good. So you can see the hyacinths in there, the Jacob's Ladder, the Dianthus right there, and then there's nine delphiniums. And you can see that the sprinklers are on right now. Well, nope, turning off now. So we're gonna switch out all of these sprinkler heads. There's another riser right there, riser there, and in the corner. So we're gonna switch all of those out for drip. Here are the rest of the panziolas. They are looking very pretty. These ones are called, look, Anytime Sugar Plum. So I have one, two, three, four, some of these are kind of part flats, I think. There's some holes. Five. Five flats of these that I'm gonna go plant in a flower bed somewhere. Also, you guys, I just realized that my favorite trowel is broken. <gasps> So sad. This one was brought to our garden center as a sample. I think it was Fisker's. I'm not sure. 
because they look different now, but I love this trowel. So it's got a forked edge, serrated right here. I just love the way that this one feels. Super bummed out. I need to stop using it as a, like a pry bar. <laughs> Okay, so I think that I'm going to put these right in this section right here. I'm just going to kind of work them around the front, maybe swoop up to that birch trunk right there. The lamp post, which I think we might move because I don't have any electrical out here. So it just sits there looking beautiful, but it doesn't light up. All right, I've got them all lined out. I think that's going to be a really pretty drift. Now I've got to plant them all. All the panziolas are planted and then I put some slow release fertilizer around each one of them. But since they're a zone five, they should be perennial and they should come back. So there are hostas everywhere. Let me show you. Look right here, there, there, there. And there's a bunch of them scattered around back in here. Um, yeah, and there's a few kind of dotted in here and then they're all over back in here. So those are just starting to emerge. So I kind of, think I might end up having to move some of these panziolas. Maybe. I have stayed away from them for the most part and gave them a little bit of room like right here. I'm, it's okay if the hosta comes out and kind of encroaches a little bit on the panziola so that those can kind of be peeking out from underneath. I think it'll be pretty. So that's it for the project today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of them come together and you will be seeing these throughout tours. That's why I kind of thought this should be a video um, because it wasn't something, all of these things weren't things I was going to do like a formal educational video on. I just kind of want to put these things in the ground and get them growing. Um, so now that you've seen where they've all gone, then you can kind of watch for them in tour videos and any other videos we might do in those spots. So thank you guys so much much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.